Okay, so it's been a while since I've used Replit, but they just came out with this Agent 3. We just saw a video here on X from the founder here. The cool thing about this is that, you know, it creates apps, but it also tests them for security and all of this has got different agents. So really, really cool that I can do this. I put in a massive prompt here create me an SEO writing tool for my business. So you can see now here we have a planning agent that's happening here. We can see exactly what's happening here. Build the entire app okay, or start with the design. I want to build the whole thing. That's what I'm all about here. I want to get it all done. Let's see how this goes, Agent 3. So it's got different agents that can do different parts. That's the future, I think, of this type of tools so let's see how it stacks up if you want this full prompt i'll leave it in the classroom here of the school community in this community we're just building ai apps and tools and then building marketing tools to help to sell the tools okay so that's what we're doing if you want to join i'll leave it in the first comment down below but we're going to see what we're going to build here with this agent three so i think some of these tools are going to take a little bit longer now they're going to go out with you know do to-do lists and all of that thing those things i don't think that's a problem necessarily because they're going out and trying to fix their own mistakes at the same time because a lot of the frustration with other tools were that you know it says error error and then people get frustrated and they just quit so this should be super interesting to see how far it gets with this uh, mega prompt that I gave it. I'm super excited to see what this will do. All right, so that took about nine, 10 minutes. Okay, not too bad, I suppose. This is quite a um, you know, complicated tool you know, with several workflows and yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, this tool, it doesn't really matter obviously for the design, so not really that important. What it did, prompt me was to put in my Gemini key. I like that because sometimes you're like, do I need to put it in or what do I need to do? So this is quite clear what I need to do here. Very good for beginners. Even tells me where I can go get my key, which yeah, I knew already. But anyway, let's put the key in and come back. Okay, I also got this message down here. Would you like to save this secret to your account secret so you can easily access it in other apps? I like that feature too. That means I don't have to go back uh, and every time I want to use Gemini, I can just save it there. So yeah, that's really good. Let's just do not now for now. But yeah, this is looking very good. We have our keyword research. We have our content calendar looks very nice. Our AI generation tool, a content editor. So yeah, let's have a look. Let's test, let's go through the flow here. So we'll start the research here. Okay, and it's even saying that's coming from Quora and Reddit doesn't say exactly how it's coming. Uh, I wanted a few more of these, but that looks okay. English conversation starters. Um, not exactly what I'd be looking for, but uh, probably not the worst either. Yeah, I think we would need to work on the keyword research a little bit, but anyway, it's not too bad. Let's see how it works next. Okay, so I just tick off these and then I generate the calendar. <laughs> this is amazing the way it's like thought of the logic of how this actually works and then... Yeah, I mean, I, just, <laughs> I didn't even plan this exactly, so that's pretty cool. And then it's been added here. Interesting. Okay, so not exactly what I wanted, but yeah, I mean, a few tweaks to this will be obvious that, that you would have to do this. But quite impressive that it did get quite a, a good amount of things. Let's try out the blog post to see how it did here. Okay, so I just put in my target uh, keyword and question, SEO blog article. Okay, nice. Uh, they have different ideas here. Uh, yeah, let's put a listicle here. I think that's uh, usually good for SEO. Uh, by the way, I have a full SEO course in the community if you want to join as well. Oh, we didn't get it. It didn't work. Failed to generate content. No, let's try to fix this. All right, so it has got some errors that it's finding. It's working on that. Yeah, I mean, the promise was that it would go and fix all these errors and test the code. So, I mean, it did do a good job really to get a good app out first time. But yeah, I mean, if they want to check the code, then that's fine. Let's see how this comes out. Uh, one of the interesting things mentioned in this uh, post by the founder here is that you know, usually you can go off and do two minutes, then it could do 20 minutes of work autonomously, as in it's just going to go off and do all this work for you. Now they're up to 200 minutes, so it can work for three hours in the background. I don't know what type of app you would be making to, uh, to make three hours worth of, uh, I don't know how you'd even prompt that, to be honest, but... Uh, I guess this is the way we're going with the tools like Cloud Code and all these who make to-do lists and then go out and try to make the whole thing, test the whole thing, make sure it's all secure. So, I mean, that all takes time. So we are taking more time to build the apps that we need, but they're obviously much better. So now, yeah, we can see here, let me test the content generation functionality, see what's causing the fail to generate error. So it's going to go out and test it for me. 
yeah it found it here look the images with the images array type one thing when you are integrating image uh, generation tools is like it's really hard to find the correct docs about these things so sometimes whatever this is using to search the information in this case i did put i went to the effort of putting the right model there because sometimes it gets confused so i put out the whole a Gemini model that I wanted to use, the new Nano Banana one. So it's like Gemini 2.5 flash uh, image preview. And that's the model for Nano Banana. There we go. Yeah. So that's exactly, yeah, this is the problem. So I wanted this model, uh, the Nano Banana model, but the, the code is using a different model names. Okay. So one of the problems that we have is that OpenAI and Gemini have like, 50 different models and then it's like trying to find the right uh, parameters and all of these things to make sure that it has uh, the right model so that it can generate the output all right so it has finished i think now it's, yeah that's very cool the way it's actually testing the the actual tool to see it made it to do a, a, it made it write a post here so it was like 516 words that wouldn't be enough all right but again it's now testing the uh, images and all of that so this is pretty cool that it's going to do this so yeah we're definitely going to be sending off apps to be made and then go off and do whatever it is we want to do and then it'll be done hopefully by the time we're done interesting enough it's actually come up with the next things that you could actually ask for so very interesting that's gone and said okay these are the next features that you could ask for okay i'm fine for now i don't need anything like that i just want this to work it says that it works now it made a 702 word article yeah to actually test out so let's do that now let's see how that looks actually that's quite an interesting article i might do that um let's see okay ai english teacher versus human teacher i think that's quite an interesting one oh it's working now okay so it worked yeah we got the html format and the preview that we can write can we actually edit this hmm not really, I suppose, but I guess you can, but it's in HTML. It looks okay. I mean, this is not really good enough quality to rank in Google, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if it followed the, uh, the system prompt. I gave it a really in-depth system prompt. Yeah, it's just not really good enough, the article. So yeah, we're going to have to put a lot more work into this. But anyway, it was a good test, I think, and it did pretty well to come up with a tool. But obviously, I'm going to have to keep working on this. The image is didn't work i don't know where they i like the way it's saved here but yeah no images we didn't get and uh yeah but we can edit it and we have a nice content editor so not bad for two prompts i think this is definitely a tool worth checking out uh yeah if you want to join the community we are just talking all about this stuff uh, vibe coding with ai tools and then trying to market them i'm marketing my own app my one app so I'm going to share all my marketing, my vibe marketing in there. If you want to see, if you want to join, then I'll see you there. See you in the next one.